Good morning. Hey, it's Dr. James. I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. And say good morning to Shanti. Good morning. Hey, yeah, I am not in my treehouse this morning because I read a study yesterday and I want to have you take this into a level that is literally life-changing. I know it may sound a little dramatic and I know it's early in the morning, but this is a study that I think every single human being on the planet today will benefit from. And you have to just give yourself permission to receive this information at a very, very deep level. Allow yourself to be vulnerable, allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to be open and honest with yourself. This is all about mental health. And there has been countless studies over the last several decades on how fruits and vegetables will impact your health of your heart, your digestive system, your immune system, every system in your entire being. But a recent study that was just published yesterday spoke about the power of fruits and vegetables in its relationship to mental health, depression, anxiety, all of what's going on on a mental level that is becoming more and more of an epidemic across the entire planet. Everyone I know has shared with me that their anxiety levels are higher, that bouts of sadness come out of the blue, doubts of darkness. It's everywhere. And the study spoke to the direct correlation between the amount of fruits and vegetables that we consume and its relationship to how it can help us to navigate and support our overall mental health. And I wanted to be in front of my refrigerator today because I want you to consider this refrigerator, your refrigerator, the place that you store your fruits and vegetables as a medicine cabinet, a self-love medicine cabinet. And every time that you get ready to open the door of your refrigerator, ask yourself a simple question. What is the ROI? What is the return on my intention? How well am I open? How much am I open to putting foods in my body that help my mind, that help my spirit, that help my emotions? Please share this video with everyone that you know. This study was done on over 40,000 people so over the course of an entire decade. And their findings were absolute. That when we consume more fruits and vegetables, we are consuming an opportunity to help us to navigate these, these really interesting times that we're living in, these often painful times. I've lost people over the last couple of years <clears throat> to challenges with their mental health, challenges with their self-love, self-care. And I know that you have been touched by this too, either deeply personally or someone you know is struggling. So let's share this information. Let, let's, let's look at diet and in the, in the inception of the word itself way, way, way back in the Greek times. Diet was dieta, which meant a way of life and a way of loving. Putting food in our body that literally helps us to nourish our spirit, to facilitate an emotional uprising about positivity and resilience. We need to be the change we wish to see in the world. And isn't it amazing that something as... <laughs> as simple on some level as fruits and vegetables, putting them in our body, but setting an intention before you put them in your body that you are nourishing, that you are feeding, that you are facilitating an uprising of love, self-love, and the science behind it that supports our spiritual conviction that we are gonna nourish in such a way that we are gonna outlove and outshine our former self, and we're gonna go out in the world and share this information by living it and expressing it and doing it in such a way that we become a contagious form of change. It is an important time. It's an incredibly critical time that we wake up and we share what we know can make us come alive. We are alive to the degree that we serve. So let's look at how we serve ourselves every single day and serve with a level of love and a level of hope because yes, we can be the change we wish to see in the world. So there's the medicine cabinet. I'm diving in with intention, the ROI, the return of my intention is love, power, inspiration, compassion, and joy. Much love and every blessing. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.